The hype for Grand Theft Auto 6 is at an all-time high, and with the release of the trailer, fans have been given what they have been craving for so long. However, the story behind Grand Theft Auto 6 is not without its fair share of drama. Join me as I present 107 facts about Grand Theft Auto 6, focusing on the game's development, the drama leading up to the trailer release, and details spotted in the trailer itself. Let's get started. Number 1. Development for the game reportedly started in 2014, according to games journalist Jason Schreier, which uh, would make its release in 2025 uh, more than 11 years in development. That's crazy. Number 2. Schreier also reported that the game would feature Bonnie and Clyde inspired protagonists, including a Latina woman. He also claimed that the developers were trying their best to subvert the GTA trend of joking about marginalized groups. Number 3. The No reported that the game was internally known as Codename Project Americas. It was rumored to be set in Vice City and partially in South America. The game was also reported to have a female protagonist echoing one of Schreier's reports. Number 4. Tom Henderson, a leaker known for releasing details on Battlefield 2042 and Call of Duty Cold War, believed that the map could evolve similarly to what Epic Games has done with Fortnite Battle Royale. Number 5. Speaking of leaks. GTA 6 has been plagued with a history of leaks. Anticipation for the game grew so high that on September 18, 2022, the game had its first major leak. Number 6. A user known as Teapot Uberhacker published 90 videos equating to about 50 minutes of in-development gameplay. Several outlets confirmed that these videos were genuine. Number 7. It was reported that the hacker attempted to negotiate a deal with Rockstar and Take-Two to take down the footage. Number 8. On September 19, 2022, Rockstar themselves confirmed the leak and attributed it to a network intrusion. Number 9. On September 22, 2022, a 17-year-old boy from Oxfordshire known as Teapot Uberhacker and linked to Lapsus, a group known for cyber attacks, was arrested by the City of London Police with support from the National Cybercrime Unit and American authorities. Despite being on bail for hacking other companies, he breached Rockstar's security while staying at the Travelodge Hotel under police supervision. He he used a mobile phone, television, and Amazon Fire Stick to carry out the breach, and threatened all Rockstar staff via Slack message that he would release the source code. Number 10. The leaked footage all but confirmed several reported features, the biggest one being the existence of a male and female protagonist with the ability to switch between the two at any point. Number 11. The ability to hold up a diner and take hostages along with your partner was also shown in the leaked footage. Whether or not this was a mission being shown or a random event you can trigger wasn't confirmed. Number 12. New weapons and items were also shown in the leak, such as a spear gun, different golf clubs, a USB drive, a tracker jammer, and more. Number 13. The leak also provided a lot of groups within the GTA community with insight on the potential GTA 6 map. With this additional information, the GTA 6 Mapping Project, a group of fans dedicated to creating speculative maps, were able to put together their versions of the map of GTA 6. Number 14. Although fans were finally satiated from the GTA 6 content drought, it didn't come with Without negative effects. Uninformed fans complained about the quality of the leaks, comparing the unfinished graphics and gameplay with that of completed games. The leaks also affected Rockstar's morale. Number 15. The September 2022 GTA 6 leak was considered one of the biggest leaks in gaming history, with some outlets calling it a PR disaster. Rockstar claimed that the leak cost them 5 million US dollars and thousands of employee hours to recover. Number 16. After more than a year of silence after the leak, the first official trailer for the game was announced in November 2023 with a debut date of December 5th. Number 17. The announcement was so big that other companies would parody this announcement, with 343 Industries releasing a similar style announcement for a Halo update trailer. Number 18. Rare followed suit with an announcement for Sea of Thieves. Number 19. Overwatch would do the same with an announcement of Season 8 on their X, formerly known as Twitter, account. Number 20. Even Fall Guys used the template for their new trailer. Number 21. And finally, Call of Duty promoted the release of their latest iteration of Warzone using the GTA 6 style parody. Number 22. Outside of video game companies, Walmart's Canada Gaming account released a similar post on their socials, and several fans replicated the template for parody posts online. Number 23. Despite a release date of December 5th, the trailer would actually release a day early on December 4th due to the low-quality version of the trailer being leaked that day on X, formerly known as Twitter, by user GTA 6 Trailer Leak. Very on-the-nose username, by the way. Number 24. With the release of the trailer for the much-anticipated Grand Theft Auto 6, we now know that the game will hit store shelves in 2025. No specific date was revealed, but it's nice knowing that we can expect the game before 2030. Number 25. The game is announced to be coming to the PS5, Xbox Series X, and S. 
with PC being absent from the listing. Number 26. The trailer was huge, breaking first day view records on YouTube for a non-music video with 46 million views and within 24 hours, 93 million views and 8.9 million likes. As of writing the script, it sits at 174 million views and 11 million likes. Number 27. The effects of the trailer could be felt all over, with the song for the trailer, Tom Petty's Love is a Long Road, seeing a 37,000% increase in listens on Spotify, 250,000 searches on Shazam, and ranked second worldwide on iTunes. Number 28. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but if you look really closely in the closing scene of the trailer, you'll also spot a Petty Forever sticker, referencing Tom Petty, giving a shout out to Tom Petty. Number 29. The trailer reveals the Bonnie and Clyde inspired protagonists of the game, Lucia and an unnamed man speculated to be named Jason. Number 30. Promotional artwork of Lucia shows that she wears an electronic brace or tag around her ankle, which is used in real life to keep track of people on bail or probation. Number 31. As with past games in the series, Grand Theft Auto 6 will feature a parody version of real life locations, with GTA 6 taking place in the state of Leonida. Number 32. Similar to the states of San Andreas, Liberty, and Alderney, which take cues from California, New York, and New Jersey, GTA 6 gives us the state of Leonida, which takes heavy inspiration from the state of Florida. Number 33. The name Leonida seems to reference the explorer who discovered Florida, Juan Ponce de Leon. Number 34. You can't talk about Florida without talking about all of the craziness that happens, and GTA 6 wasn't shy to show off its take on the state's wackiness. The trailer features several news coverage and social media clips either directly referencing or being heavily inspired by real-life events. Number 35. The clip from Official Poach sees a poach officer grabbing a gator out of a pool and is a parody of a real-life video of a man removing a gator in a similar fashion in April of 2019. Number 36. Poach also stands for protection of animals and controlled hunting, as seen from their logo. It seems to be a parody of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, but people speculate that it might also be GTA's version of PETA. Number 37. The Have a Vice Day clip of a woman twerking on top of a car references a video shot in a very similar way of a woman shaking it on someone's car. The angles are almost one to one. Number 38. The surveillance footage of a gator walking into a convenience store isn't a direct reference, but many have said that it takes inspiration from an incident involving a gator in a Walmart parking lot. Number 39. The Planet Leonida Man clip of a nearly naked man running away in a gas station is a reference to an August 22 incident of a man naked and arrested at a gas station. Number 40. The Arrow gas station in the scene seems to be inspired by Sunoco gas station, sharing very similar colors and patterns. Number 41. The shot of a man in his underwear watering grass is a reference to a man watering his yard completely naked in 2018. Number 42. Might be a reference to the Redneck Mud Park, which is an event that happens in Florida. Number 43. The Lucha Libre fans clip of a hammer lady is inspired by a real incident in Los Angeles, not Florida or Miami, where a woman is caught on camera wielding two hammers and smashing her neighbor's car because it was parked too close. Number 44. The Mega Noticias clip of a tattoo-riddled individual is a reference to the Florida Joker, who was arrested twice, once for possession of marijuana and then for carrying a firearm without a permit. Number 45. The GTA Joker might actually be a reference to Jared Leto's Joker from Suicide Squad as well, with a forehead tattoo that says impenitent to match Leto's Joker's damage tattoo. Number 46. The Florida Joker is actually threatening to help free the GTA leaker and demands $10 million in compensation for being parodied. Number 47. In the Leonida Joker clip, you can also see the Leonida seal, which is a parody of the Florida seal, except it features a man being eaten by an alligator. Number 48. The Weasel News Dirt Bike Dirt Bags coverage isn't a direct reference to any particular incident, but more of a reference to rideouts that happen in Florida involving bikes and ATVs. Number 49. Weasel News is GTA's parody of Fox News, and this confirms its return in GTA 6. Number 50. Unlike Grand Theft Auto Vice City's rendition of the titular Miami-inspired location, the map in GTA 6 includes a larger piece of the Florida Pie, with the Everglades and Florida Keys being inspiration for locales, as well as a larger, more directly scaled version and a more true-to-life version of the iconic Vice City. Number 51. The GTA 6 trailer references three specific counties, similar to how San Andreas has Blaine County on top of the iconic Los Santos. Number 52. The first of these counties is Vicedale County, which seems to take inspiration in name to Miami-Dade County, seems to be where Vice City and its surrounding areas reside. Number 53. The next of these counties is Leonard County. Not much is known about this location. 
Number 54. In the trailer, there's an exit sign pointing towards an area called Waning Sands. A scene in the trailer features a shopping mall in Waning Sands alongside police cars with Leonard County Sheriff, suggesting that the area of Waning Sands exists within Leonard County. Number 55. Lastly, we have Kelly County. Not much is known about this location, but as seen on exit signs featured in the trailer, it can be accessed by taking the highway headed west of Vice City. Number 56. The exit signs also reveal that the Florida Keys inspired locale is referred to as the Keys. Whether the full name will be the Vice Keys or the Leonida Keys is still to be confirmed. Number 57. We can also see an exit for Port Vice City, which is most likely a parody of the Port of Miami. Number 58. Those same signs also confirm that the name of the airport will be the VCI Airport, which probably stands for Vice City International Airport. This seemingly replaces Escobar International Airport from Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Number 59. The Vice sign can be seen in the trailer as well, which is a parody of the Miami sign seen in the Miami International Airport. Number 60. Another part of the exit signs points towards Vice Beaches, which may suggest that the beachfront is split up into different sections, similar to how Miami Beach is split up into South Beach, North Beach, etc., and how Vice City had separate beaches in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Number 61. Parasols featured in the background of the trailer footage seem to confirm that the beachfront, or at least one part of the beach, is called Vice Beach. Number 62. Combining information we know from the leaks and the trailer, along with the speculative map, we can infer that the region known as the Grass Rivers is the Everglades-inspired location. Number 63. The shot of the fan boat in the Grass Rivers confirms this new vehicle as well. This fan boat seems to be different from the Vortex hovercraft from GTA San Andreas. Number 64. Flamingos, ducks, alligators, and deer can be seen in these Grass River shots, confirming the expanded fauna and showing off Rockstar's experience gained from Red Dead Redemption 2. Number 65. Another area is Port Gellhorn and can be seen in the closing scene of the trailer. Number 66. Port Gellhorn is speculated to be inspired by Fort Myers in Florida. Number 67. The introductory clip for Lucia confirms the existence of a penitentiary as a location in the game. Number 68. The penitentiary is run by the Leonida Department of Corrections, as seen on Lucia's inmate clothes and on the badge of Stephanie, a corrections counselor Lucia is speaking to in the trailer. Number 69. With a game that takes heavy inspiration from real life, there's bound to be near one-to-one -one versions of buildings and locations in Florida. One such building is the 500 Brickle Twin Tower, which can be seen in one of the sweeping shots of the Vice City beachfront. Number 70. Another building in the shot bears strong resemblance to the Lowe's Miami Beach Hotel. Number 71. There's a building with a hole in the middle featured in the trailer which bears resemblance to the Atlantis condominium, and a building featured in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Number 72. The Wynwood Walls, home to very colorful murals in real life, seem to have a parody in the game as well. Number 73. Strip clubs are featured in the game, with our first official look at the Jack of Hearts. This also seems to be inspired by the King of Diamonds strip club. Number 74. There's an island in the trailer that's an almost one-to-one -one recreation of Biscayne Island, right down to the Toll Booths and Step Hotel. Number 75. In the background of this shot, we can also see parodies of the Blue Diamond and Green Diamond condos. Number 76. The Ocean View Hotel from Grand Theft Auto Vice City seems to be making a return, as seen by this nighttime boardwalk shot. Number 77. The boardwalk itself is a parody of Ocean Drive in Miami. Number 78. There's also a more specific callback to the Ocean View Hotel in the form of a yellow and white ocean which is a car that was parked in front of the hotel in GTA Vice City. Number 79. A plane can be seen advertising 919, which is believed to be a parody of Nightclub 11. Number 80. We can see a colorfully lit building right by a highway, which fans speculate is a parody of the Kaseya Center in Miami. Number 81. The interior shot of this club with a DJ is a reference to Club Space, a popular club in the Miami area. Number 82. Now that we have all the major facts out of the way, we're going to go through the trailer to point out any additional details we can find, starting with the return of Patriot Beer, a brand in the GTA HD universe, which can be seen in an opening truck where the logo and some beers can be seen on the side of a truck. Number 83. A parody of the WTVY Tower can be seen in the background of this opening shot as well. Number 84. Parasols can be seen at the beach with the brand Soul Sisters printed on its side. Number 85. This beach shot alone shows off the variety we have in NPC design. We have very different builds, skin tones, and clothing featured in this shot. Number 86. The shots of the boat riding as a group next to the cargo ship is a reference to the TV series Miami Vice, which features a similar shot in its opening sequence. Number 87. 
Bill Gecko and Jet Sam shipping containers from GTA 5 can be seen on the cargo ship in the same scene. Number 88. The existence of customized vehicles in the trailer might be suggesting extensive car customization and car culture featured in the game. Number 89. A Vice vinyl sticker seen on a car might mean vinyl wraps are coming into play, reinforcing the idea of car customization. Number 90. Yet another hint at car customization can also be seen with the Raised by Rideout custom sticker on the back of a green car. Number 91. Different bandanas featured on characters in the trailer might be suggesting the existence of multiple gangs, similar to Grand Theft Auto Vice City, such as the Cubans, the Haitians, and so on. Number 92. There's a man in the strip club wearing a Dolls of Destruction t-shirt, featuring tour cities on the back of the shirt. The cities are as follows. Liberty City, Alderney City, Vice City, Los Santos, Las Venturas, and San Fierro. With the existence of San Fierro in the HD universe, I'm curious why the California-inspired San Andreas left out this San Francisco-inspired city. Number 93. The aerial shot of the keys in the trailer features moving cargo ships, implying that these vehicles might be part of the world itself, and not just scripted. Number 94. In the same shot, we see a blimp in the background which could be based on the Fat Albert blimp that paroles the Florida Keys. Number 95. The Keys seem to also feature a derelict bridge similar to the Bahia Honda Rail Bridge. Number 96. Sasanta Nove makes its return in GTA 6 with a girl sporting a bikini with the brand's logo on it. Fun fact, Sasanta Nove means 69 in Italian and is a parody of Louis Vuitton. Number 97. We can't talk about this bikini girl without talking about how fans were and are still convinced that the girl is Lucia, one of our main characters. Number 98. Several different sports activities seem to be hinted at in the game, similar to activities in previous entries. We can see tennis courts, basketball centers, and there's a whole lot of different interiors that we don't know about, so maybe we can go bowling. Number 99. Cerveza Bracho beer makes its return alongside Lager, Pisswasser, and Patriot as mentioned before. Number 100. Pisswasser seems to have a light version known as Pisswasser 9. 101. A new brand of beer, Dignity, will make its debut and is only 99 cents apparently. Number 102. Angst the Pan, It Cures Emotions seem to be a parody of uh, the many antidepressants available in this world. 103. New brands for the GTA HD universe can be seen on the Evergreen Shopping Mall sign featuring the brands Callus, Scala, and Alpha. Whether or not these are stores you can enter or just for visual flair is yet to be confirmed. 104. Righteous Slaughter, the game Michael's son plays in GTA 5, makes a return in the form of a shirt, with a man wearing a Righteous Slaughter Blood Op shirt. New sequel? 105. Righteous Slaughter Blood Ops is also a clear parody of Call of Duty Black Ops. 106. In one of the final clips of the trailer, we see a billboard for WSH, We Have Shoes. This seems to be a parody of DSW, Designer Shoe Warehouse, sporting a very similar logo. 107. Despite the state of Leonida being a parody of Florida, Florida was actually name dropped in an in-game email in GTA 4. This officially makes this a retcon with Leonida being favored instead. Unless, you know, there's actually a Florida alongside Leonida. And that is 107 Facts before the game is even out. Let us know what you thought down below. If you want us to talk about GTA 6 the moment it releases, let us know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed. This has been The Leaderboard, your home for video game facts.